Putting in the uh, shower surround, if you like, um, doing the waterproofing around the shower. James, I was kind of hoping he hadn't done this, but he couldn't wait for me to get here this morning. So he very enthusiastically bedded the tray in. So that is actually bedded on tile adhesive, which is fine because this is one of the foam filled trays. It's not a resin cast tray, so you can bed them on tile adhesive. So ignore everything I said about never bedding them on tile adhesive. If you've got the right tray, you can. The important thing is follow the instructions, if there are any instructions. So what we've got is the tray bedded on there. We use the classy seal. Have you got that classy seal there, James? That off cut on anywhere? So as anybody who's watched any of my videos in the past will know my big passion, if you like, is to make sure these are absolutely leak proof. Loads and loads of ways of doing it. One of them is with this classy seal, which is basically a gasket you put behind the shower tray you stick it on and that is really, really sticky. That will stick to the back of the tray. This bit goes up the back as you can see here and then we're gonna put the board over and then we're gonna seal that joint. So even if the water got through the tile grout and it got down behind the tiles, it is not gonna get down behind that tray. That tray will never leak. That's the guarantee we want when we walk away from here. So we're gonna crack on. When you're doing plumbing, we're gonna cover this over with boards and it will eventually be covered over with tiles. And what you've gotta do before you do that is get your phone out, take a photograph of the pipe work. And what I do is I put the tape measure up so that we can get a close up on the tape measure. We can then record exactly where all the pipes are. So if we go to put up a soap dish or something like that in the future, we know that those pipes are running across there and we know exactly where they're running across. So we make a note of that with our phone and if a customer ever needs to know where those pipes are, we can sell them that information for an extortionate price. Mate, it's like you've done it before. You think so, haven't you? Now we 
good job. Look at that. Right measurement as well. almost ready for tiling. We actually just want to put a few more screws in here with the special washers, but we're going to wait until the adhesive has gone off because we don't want to push the board in any. The board is set just about where we need it now and uh, we don't want to be pushing a screw in which will squeeze the adhesive in at all. You can do this with rapid set adhesive, by the way, if you want to crack on a bit, but we chose to use the old fashioned cement based tile adhesive, which gives you a bit more open time. Anyway, that's that. All James has got to do is pray that his Tyler turns up. Mm -hmm. 